Hey everybody, Jokerfit here with another video. This time bringing you guys a special uh, trade package video. I can't really call this an unboxing because uh, I've already unboxed um, the items that I got in the mail yesterday. Uh, yeah, I tried recording me actually unboxing the items, but it did not work out so well. Uh, I accidentally knocked over the camcorder in the middle of the video, which like threw it out of focus so half the video was blurry obviously um, it I just turned it off turned back on and that fixed the problem so you're not seeing blurry video right now but I that I don't want you to, to make you guys watch that terrible quality video so uh, I'm kinda redoing it I've already opened it up but I'm gonna show you guys what I did with the trade I traded um, I did two trades uh, recently. These are my first actual proper YouTube trades. In the past, uh, somebody may have like sent me a gift and I've sent them a gift in return, which not really a trade because you know I just kind of sent the. Um, we didn't like work it out that way. It's just a different way of working things out. So anyway, my first real proper trades. Um, I did those with uh, I uh, RF Biker Scout Dan and uh, Caleb, uh, aka Lego Master Cole Five Eighty Three. So, um, yeah, some very cool items. I was very happy to uh, do some trades for. First up, we'll do uh, the package I got from Dan. Uh, he did include a note, which I'll read. And he dated it February 12, 2013. As I hear, is the Thanos package I told you about. I hope you enjoy them. Signed, Dan G, RF Biker Scout. So, uh, very cool. I always keep the notes that people send me in packages. And I tr what I traded uh, Dan for is I sent him a Discover the Force in 3D Tuscan Raider, and he sent me some very cool uh, vintage Marvel comics, and all about the villain Thanos, which if you've seen uh, my Marvel Select Thanos review, he's quickly on his way to becoming one of my favorite villains. Um, so first up, I'll just show you guys the cover of these. I'm not really sure on like what number they are, you know, but... I'll just give you guys a look at it. So that's um, one of the comics he sent me. Very cool. You can see all the Avengers here defeated. And a uh, kind of evil picture of Thanos in the background. Very cool. So that's a issue of Captain Marvel. Um, this one is an issue of the Avengers. However, the cover is missing. Um, Dan told me about that ahead of time. So it's not like I was like, <gasps> that's missing. Um, but still very cool just because it's vintage and stuff. And... Uh, See, it's called the final threat, and what looks like looks to be uh, Adam Warlock. At least I think it might be Adam Warlock. I may, I may be wrong. Um, standing there, so very cool. And uh, it's also cool on the back as a vintage advertisement for basketballs. And next issue, this is actually something that I didn't know he was sending along. is It's called Marvel Mixtape, and it says convention exclusive. So yeah, very cool um, looking thing. I, I have not gotten a chance to read it yet, but it looks like it has um, a few like sneak peeks and a few like short uh, stories, several different short stories. So Dan, I'd be very interested in knowing uh, what where uh, what convention this originated from. So very cool. And next is a Marvel Annual uh, two in one. And it says the thing and the Spider Man fighting Thanos. Very awesome. Very cool. Um, Spider-Man has been what was one of my childhood favorite superheroes, and also uh, the the Thing is my favorite member of the Fantastic Four. So, very cool issue, and again the same uh, uh, basketball advertisement on the back. So very cool. And this is a Marvel Milestone Edition reprinting the first appearance of Thanos in uh, the Invincible Iron Man. So that's cool. Very cool. Give you guys a good look at that. And another one that is very cool is um, another issue of Captain Marvel where uh, it's it says let's show you guys the color it's power versus power Captain Marvel versus Thanos the Mad Titan so very cool very awesome comic so big thank you Dan for trading these comics with me I hope you enjoyed your uh, figure if you've gotten it I believe you sent me a message but I'm not quite sure. So yeah, tell me in the comments just to be sure that you did get your package because it's supposed to have arrived by now. And um, the other package, like I said, I did with Lego Master Cole 5A3. And I sent him a uh, two different clone figures. Um, he's on vacation right now. He'll be back at the end of this week. 
So he does not, and I, I'm not going to say what they are in case he's watching this video before he has opened up the package. But um, anyway, I sent him a couple figures for this figure, and I'm very excited to have it. Uh, first off, he did include a note, which I always love reading notes. And it says, Dear Logan, you're a great YouTuber and friend. Well, thank you very much, Caleb. Um, very kind words. And I would like to thank you for trading with me. So until next time, thanks. May the force be with you. Sincerely, I'm not going to say his full name, Caleb, a.k.a. Lego Master 583. And I'll cover up, cover up his uh, his name there. You can see a picture of... Let me just do it like that. Let's see. Picture of Boba Fett. Very awesome. I love Mandalorians. They're just great in my book. I just love them. And Lego Master 583 knows that. And uh, he included this, which is very cool. I'll um, show you guys a look at that, which from what I can tell is like um, some kind of Mandalorian cosplaying club. And this is actually a fan created character. You can see it's like, I don't even know how you smell, you pronounce that. It's Nick, N Nika, maybe Nika or Nika. I don't know. But a female Mandalorian warrior, of course, got the uh, skull in the corner there. And it actually has a whole bio read up on it which I'll uh, read quickly so um, real name this actually gives the real name of the cosplayer who uh, created this character and the real name Rebecca Pettifer Pettif I'm not sure how you pronounce the name I'm not, I'm not even going to try to pronounce uh, where she's located personal info uh, Rebecca is originally from Kennesaw Georgia she is married to her best friend Ryan and is a proud Navy wife Rebecca has a master's degree in education and taught 7th grade mathematics. So that would be a very cool teacher to have, in my opinion. And a little bit of info about the character uh, herself. And it says, Nika, that's what I'm going to go with, was born on Narshada. She does not remember her biological parents and was raised by her adoptive father, a Mandalorian warrior who took her in after watching her fearlessly attack the swoop game that left her parents in a pool of blood. Despite having very little hearing... Nika uses her other sense to make her a merciless hunter. Her father further honed these skills and made her a true Mandalorian worthy of her armor. Nika is known to operate in the inner and mid rim and is suspected of assassinating prominent planetary leaders in at least eight systems, including an Imperial Moth. Very, very cool. I will definitely have to go check out this website in case you guys are interested in checking it out. It's called MandalorianMercs.com. So I'll definitely have to go check out that website. And it's very cool, like having like a trading card of like a fan created character. So that is a very cool little bonus item. Um, and finally, get on to the main thing that I traded him uh, for is this figure, the VOTC Ben Kenobi. Finally, having a good Ben Kenobi figure. It has been ages. The only other Ben Kenobi I have is a really bad Power of the Force two. Um, very extremely limited articulation figure from one of their cinema scenes with his fangs facing off with Vader. Very poorly articulated uh, figure. It looks nice, but it's terrible, terribly articulated. So very cool to actually have a um, a Ben Kenobi figure and uh, on card too. So I don't know if I'm gonna open this immediately. Probably I'm probably gonna keep it in packaging for a little bit. Just because he does look really good with that uh, car back. And I think it's funny that on... The, and this is not like a Hasbro error. Like on the vintage Kenner car back, he has a, a yellow lightsaber, which is kind of funny. Um, probably another one of those things that's due to um, Kenner having to work off a lot of early black and white images for their figures. So that's very cool. Very happy to finally have a good Ben Kenobi. And like I said, I'm probably going to keep him in packaging for a little bit. Um, at least until I get crazy enough and have to open it up because it's just going to drive me mad. Either that or I'll look into finding another bin to have open. So, yeah, those are the trade packages I did. Very cool. Uh, huge thanks again to uh, you guys, Dan and Caleb, if you're watching this. Um, very appreciative of you guys doing these trades, and I hope you enjoy your items that I sent you. And the final thing that, we're gonna show you, that I'm going to show you guys here is not a trade that I did, but an actual eBay buy. And uh, if you saw my haul video from last week, not the one from Sunday, but the one from, I think it was Thursday or Friday, I did, um, you know, I picked up some Batman Unlimited figures, which are pretty much just DC Universe classics. And 
I can't have Batman without having you know who, and that is the Joker. Very cool figure. I bought this guy actually mint on mint on card uh, off eBay. I obviously unopened him. Very cool figure. I'm probably gonna do a review of him as soon as I can manage. Very awesome figure. Really, uh, just cool figure. And to be honest, uh, I've given him a little Marvel Legends pistol because I think he looks cool with it. And he has a bunch of accessories, bunch of stuff. And I've had the, uh, for some reason or another, I've had the DCUC Harley Quinn for a long time now. So I'll finally have a good Joker to display with Harley Quinn. So that uh, works out really well. So very happy with this figure too. Again, I'll probably review him sometime um, this weekend most likely. Very cool figure. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Again, big thanks to uh, Caleb and Dan if you're watching this for doing the trades with me. I, ver I appreciate it and I hope you enjoy your stuff. And, um, yeah, stay tuned for more reviews. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. This is Joke Fett, signing out. Bye.